Last week, Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise was nominated for House Speaker. He dropped out of the race when he didn't have the votes. Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan took his place, but he faces the same issue. Justin Gick spoke with Representative Matt Rosendale from Montana to get his take on the situation in D.C. Justin? Yeah, that's right, Monica. Today marks exactly two weeks since the House had a speaker. With House Republicans still divided over the new nominee, it looks like tomorrow's vote will be close. Representative Rosendale backed Jim Jordan since the beginning. Rosendale says he thinks Jordan can get the job done and has not faced strong opposition. Jordan spent the weekend co conversing with Republicans in opposition to try and get them on board. Rosendale says he has heard Jordan was somewhat successful. I know that everybody now is starting to feel much more comfortable. They've had these conversations. Everybody's temper has had more time to cool off a little bit. The tensions have been able to settle down a bit. And, and so, it, you know, we're going to walk into the Capitol tomorrow with a very, very different climate, if you will, uh, than we were last week. Rosendale says he is hopeful for tomorrow's vote. Um, he says he is looking forward to getting support to Israel and addressing government funding. Now, Monica, keep in mind, we're about a month away from the deadline to fund the government before it's shut down. So the vote tomorrow will be something to keep an eye on. All right. Thanks a lot, Justin.